Gang banging is from Chicago. That's also largely influential. Gang banging is from Chicago? For sure. The people it's not that, from LA? Nah, the people that went and started the Bloods were Stones from Chicago. And uh, the folks, you know what I mean, are early precursors to uh, a lot of the gangs around. Um, yeah, gang banging is really from Chicago. I didn't know that. What's up, guys? Nyla Simone here from We Need to Talk. As you know, we drop two interviews a week, each and every Monday and each and every Thursday. Brand new exclusive content from your favorite celebrities, influencers, whoever. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything that we have going on. And make sure you guys just share, tell a friend to tell a friend, drop a comment, show your girl some love, all right? Were you in India when you shot the mini doc or was that somewhere else? No, that was Jamaica. Okay. Yeah, yeah we shot that in Jamaica. Why, why'd you choose Jamaica? Jamaica food. I love it. You know, nah, but my, <laughs> <laughs> my man, he's from, uh, Andre, who directed it, he's from Jamaica. Oh, okay, okay. And um, lives here, but, you know, his family is from Jamaica. And, um, yeah, we were, like, just kind of searching for the concept. And um, the song was inspired by some skin bleaching that was happening in my family. And skin bleaching is really prevalent in Jamaica. And throughout the Caribbean. And he's from Jamaica, so it kind of just made sense. And the food doesn't hurt you. I'm a Jamaican food fiend. Are you really? Mm -hmm. Oxtail? All that shit. Jerk chicken. <coughs> I, you know, I grew up in Maryland. Oxtail, jerk, curry, goat. I mean, right now I'm vegetarian, but. Ah. So what are you eating over there? Um... When I was there last, I was not vegetarian. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I wasn't like, doing wait. that. Got you. I don't know if I've successfully pulled off a vegetarian in Jamaica thing because I'm too much of a Jamaican food fiend. Like, I'd be vegetarian and then go there and, like, cheat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we did find this crazy, um, crazy Trini restaurant, like, it wasn't a straight vegan spot, but it was like having a lot of that shit. It was like the bus up shut, doubles, and like, oh my God. I heard that joint went out of business too quick. It was so good. It was oh, crazy. That's disappointing to hear, actually. It was some of the best food I had all year, for real. Being that you grew up in such a diverse household, but you also grew up in Chicago. Now, Chicago is one of my, though I've never been, it's one of my favorite cities when I meet the people from there because. All the people are, like, socially conscious. Not only that, you guys also had a music renaissance that was popping and just, you know, gave me a lot of my favorite artists. But what is what is it in Chicago that that is happening there between the socially consciousness and then, like, the music scene? Uh, man, you know, Chicago's just got a really deep history. So that shit is kind of, like, in the water, too, you know. Um, socially conscious movements have generated in Chicago. I mean, even if you think about Malcolm X as being one of the most pivotal figures of black consciousness awakening in America and the Nation of Islam is what birthed Malcolm X and the Nation of Islam is Chicago. You know, to this day, it's a massive organization that mm. exists and is and has been influential in so many ways. Um, you got, like, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr., if you ever seen Judas and the Black Messiah. Yeah. You know, he was, like, that massive of uh, a leader when he was 21. And um, all those things, that shit is just in the DNA of the city in that, in that regard. And I feel like that influences music as well. But then you also have people like Donny Hathaway and, you know, Shaka Khan and just like I didn't even know they were from Chicago. Straight up, is, is Earth Wind and Fire from Chicago, or is it Temptations? It's one group like that that I'm thinking of. It's low key Earth Wind and Fire. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, let's see, because something like this messed me up when I learned recently. Uh, but I think Chicago is like when you combine all of these different things. You know, you combine that with. Obviously, Kanye. Kanye has pioneered so much of the music industry and is like probably the single most influential person in modern music. And um, so that leaves shockwaves, major ripples throughout the city of Chicago. Mm. 
Game banging is from Chicago. That's also largely influential. Game banging is from Chicago? For sure. The people it's not that, from LA? Nah, the people that went and started the Bloods were Stones from Chicago. And uh, the folks, you know what I mean, are early precursors to uh, a lot of the gangs around. Um, yeah, gang banging is really from Chicago. I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, even that. Oh, okay, you know yes, what I mean? yes, yes. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm talking about black gangs, though, but even that, though, for sure, the Italians. Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire is from Chicago. Dang, definitely didn't know that. Quincy Jones. Yeah, the music is just deep in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? On The Weeping Poets, you started it off with a quote from Louis Farrakhan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, I love that you included that. Why, what, what moved you to put that piece in it? Like, was that the reason why you wrote the song? Or, like, what was the... No, it actually came afterwards. But, you know, Farrakhan is just so poignant and such a gifted speaker that whatever your message is, you can probably find a Farrakhan quote that will, like, align. So I had made the song, and I was looking for... I was either looking for a Farrakhan quote to put on the beginning, or I was just, like watching old Farrakhan speeches and found it. And, um, you know, Farrakhan was talking about things in the 80s that we're still with. grappling with now, you know, not even like just dealing with, but things we still need. You know, Farrakhan was talking about the need for us to own our own grocery stores in the 80s. And like you go through Chicago now, we still can't buy groceries from a black-owned grocery store. It was like one somewhere far, you know. Um, collective economics, all the things that are kind of being brought into the modern consciousness through things like buy black. And mm -hmm. these are the things Farrakhan was spitting in 84, you know. Um, so I'd be studying Farrakhan. I go to the Nation of Islam mosque sometimes and just, you know, go to the Savior's Day and things like that. And I put it in the album because I was like, the things Farrakhan was saying were just very powerful and related to what I was saying. You know, I thought it gave good context.